for today's vid is a little different. Um, it's a story about how I helped a few squirrels find a few nuts. Yes, I know. You all think I'm insane already. I can tell. But I thought this was actually it turned out pretty funny. Um, last year I noticed that we lost our squirrel population and actually our rabbit population as well. It didn't fully dawn on me how much so until uh, autumn came and all the acorns had dropped and were all over the place. So I was bemoaning this fact to a friend of mine about 25 miles away and she was inundated with squirrels. I mean like tons of them. Of course she was also feeding them so that might have had something to do with it. However, as I was bemoaning the fact that I had none and she had tons and we said well gee wouldn't it be cool if, if uh, they could end up here. And she says well I have a humane trap. I'll trap some and bring them over. And I said okie dokie. Uh, this was going into fall, so there was lots here for them to uh, be able to put up for the winter and make new tests. So <laughs> she she brought over a couple loads of them in her car <laughs> in the humane trap. And uh, the, the one day that she came over, Mike was out by the garage, and I hadn't seen him yet to tell him about how the Linda's Grand Squirrel Relocation Program. <laughs> and he... he sees her pull in and says hello and she says oh I'm just here to drop off a few more squirrels <laughs> and Mike looks in the back of her car and there's squirrels <laughs> and Mike looks at me and I go to explain and he just puts up his hand and goes I don't want to know I don't even want to know I I don't want to know he says I don't even want to hear how this could there could be an explanation for this so anyhow <laughs> She, she dropped off around seven squirrels between two trips and uh, let them out and they went and picked up all the acorns right away and got stuff stored up and because it was autumn uh, you could also see the fall uh, leaves and colors on the on the trees and uh, so I could see pretty quickly that they where they had made their new nests and they put in three new nests and uh, cleaned up all the acorns and so they got moved in before winter. I helped them along the way over the winter with a little corn here and a few sunflowers uh, seeds there and uh, they've stuck around. They're still here this spring. Looks like they all came through fairly well. I suspect that fishers might have cleaned them out uh, before. Um, we have some of those in the hollow down below us and fishers are pretty troublesome around here and voracious. They climb trees and wreck nests uh, with abandon and uh, the only good fisher is a dead fisher in my book at this point. They also wreak havoc on uh, chicken pens as well. I actually lost uh, <laughs> I actually lost 26 young chickens to a, a fisher attack here a couple years ago and it wasn't very nice. So anyhow, and yes I know Others, you know, the bushcrafters and hunters and stuff would be like, why aren't you hunting them? Why didn't you cook them up? And yes, I've cooked up plenty of squirrel and I've hunted plenty of squirrel, but I miss the entertainment these guys give me. Um, they make fun of the dogs, drive the dogs nuts, and I get a kick out of watching them. I love, I especially get a kick out of watching them fight. <laughs> and uh, uh, we've actually had a couple black squirrels uh, in the past and they were just beautiful to watch. But you know there's balance in everything uh, with the rabbits, with the squirrels. They didn't bother anything and they were entertaining to watch. So anyhow, that's your fun story from a Monday morning. How a crazy, crazy lady who probably should know better uh, had a squirrel rel relocation program going. Or maybe it was a squirrel witness protection program. I, I don't know. Either way, they're happy. I'm happy. And hey, they found their nuts. Happy Monday, all. Like, subscribe, and join me next time here in Helgas, Pennsylvania Cooking.